In this section, we'll talk about bacterial growth and the ideal conditions for that growth, with the commonly referred to acronym as FATOM. Bacteria are single-celled living or microorganisms that can spoil food and cause foodborne illnesses. They're found almost everywhere. You cannot see them, you can't smell them, and you can't taste them. They grow pretty rapidly if the conditions are ideal, and which we'll talk about throughout this section. Also, they can produce toxins as they grow and die, of which we'll talk later on in another section. Stages of bacterial growth. You can see in this chart here that bacterial growth through time as it goes across the, the graph, graph here, bacterial growth will increase. It goes through four stages as it progresses. It goes through the lag stage, which is really just an adjustment period for the bacteria. It's getting ready to grow. As the temperature increases normally, as the time increases, you go through this log phase. Log phase is the most ideal phase. You can see how rapid the growth is here for the bacteria. It actually splits in two. It's called binary fission. It completely splits into every single bacteria. So one becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight, and so forth. Then you go into the stationary phase where bacteria can continue to grow, but eventually it's going to start dying. It's going to become overly populated. And then you have the death phase, which naturally means that it is dying off. So with this time, a lot of times will also come temperature. You could also replace this with temperature and have a similar chart. Here's an example for salmonella. Salmonella, you can see over the course of one day, how rapidly it can grow reaching up here at 95 degrees. This is the best temperature for the growth here. You can also see, as more time allows, 50 degrees, which is what we'll talk about as being in the danger zone. Bacteria can also change into spores. So it can produce toxins and can change into spores. Spores are often found in dirt. They can survive cooking temperatures and can change back to a form that grows. They're very dangerous. So what do bacteria need to grow? The acronym FATTOM stands for food, acidity, temperature, time, oxygen, and moisture. These are categories. Food. Most bacteria need nutrients such as carbohydrates and proteins to survive, of which the TCS, time and temperature control for safety foods, supports the growth of bacteria better than most other types. These foods include meats, poultry, dairy products, and eggs. Acidity. Bacteria don't like a whole lot of acidity. In fact, they like more of a neutral to a slightly acidic environment. Items such as melons and limes, tomatoes, are too acidic for bacteria to grow in. A pH of 7.5 to 4.6 is ideal. You can see here on this chart, on the pH scale, neutral is 7, acidic is 0, and the alkaline is 14. Again, bacteria prefer 4.6 to 7.5. Foods that fall into that category are bread, raw chicken, cantaloupe, milk, and cooked corn. Temperature. Temperature is another risk factor. Temperature danger zone is what we refer to as the danger zone that bacteria grow the most rapidly in. That temperature danger zone is from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Bacteria grow even more rapidly from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. The best way to control bacterial growth in the temperature danger zone is keeping it out of it. Keeping food below that temperature or above that temperature is crucial. Time. As we showed through the bacterial growth phases, the more time bacteria has to grow, the more bacteria will reproduce. Oxygen. Not all bacteria need oxygen. Most do, and most are found to be aerobic bacteria. Anaerobic bacteria, though, are those that do not need oxygen to grow. They grow in things such as cooked rice, untreated garlic and oil mixtures, and temperature of used baked potatoes. Moisture is another thing that bacteria needs in order to grow. 
it generally needs a water activity of 0.85% or higher. So 85% water moisture. You can see AW refers to the water activity, the amount of moisture available in food to support the bacterial growth. The scale ranges from 0 to 1, with water having a water activity level of 1. Although it is important to recognize all of these conditions of fat time, really the two that you can control are both time and temperature. Time, you limit how long the foods actually spend in that temperature danger zone. Again, remembering being 41 degrees to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And then that temperature, keeping foods out of that temperature danger zone as much as possible. We'll talk in later chapters about the entire flow of food and how to control both time and temperature throughout that to limit the amount of bacterial growth within your food product.